What's going on, everybody? Welcome to G Myers World. And what we're going to be talking about today is the rookie premiere and how you're going to get a free 88 overall Saquon Barkley. Now, if you're new to my channel, it's kind of tough because I told you guys, remember, go back to my video where I told you the number one running back that, I mean, the number one player that's going to be a rookie premiere is going to be Saquon Barkley. I said that as soon as it was announced. And a lot of you guys listened to me from the year before. You got the Lattimore and stuff like that, and you're able to see and assess it. This is the, like, I have a way of looking at players when they play in college and just knowing if they're going to be, you know, that dude or how EA is going to use them or make them better in the game. I just have a knack for it. You know what I'm saying? I'm like two for two or three for three. However long the rookie premiere has been going on, I've been getting usually the, the most important one for me has always been the one that has been the most successful, whether through upgrades or everything like that. All right? So this is what's going to happen, right? If you listen to me or you were subscribed to me or you just even watch my videos and you weren't subscribed, whatever you were doing, right? If you watch my video, you saw that I was going crazy about doing that Saquon Barkley, right? And when I say do him, you, you already know what I'm trying to say. Like, I'm not trying to say, like, do him, you know, whatever. whatever. You, know, you know what I'm trying to say. Completing his set, right? So it's going to be found inside the exchange set, right? You're going to go over to the core rookie, and they're going to have different ways for you to get the 75, the 79, um, you know, core rookies or whatever like that but his set is going to require all of the 75 through 79 core rookies to become an 88 overall okay this set is going to become available on 8 14 august 14th when that happens your rookie premier saquon barkley is going to automatically become an 88 overall so you're going to essentially get a free 88 overall core elite master saquon barkley so for those of you that are playing the solos right now and you're trying to figure out, like, what am I going to be doing? What, what's happening? What is ideal with this situation? What should I be trying to do right now as far as the cards and the things of that nature? Like, what should I be trying to get? First of all, let's go ahead and jump into the fact that I've already just finished the campaign mode. And the only reason I only have 46K is because I just spent 100 and something K on a card. Okay? I made almost 200,000 coins just completing this sol these solos right here. And it's 83 solos, but it's not 83 full games. It's moments with four of them being full games, and we already know what to do. We're going to put it on true clock and go hard. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, it's pretty much what it is. But throughout this campaign, you're going to get campaign tokens, okay? And you're going to be eligible for certain cards. And the reason that I'm bringing this up is to make sure that everybody is informed, okay, to understand. My viewers have to be informed before they do anything, okay? That's why I try to get videos out constantly and try to inform you as much as possible, whether through Twitter. So if you're not following me on Twitter, at World, if it's something important and I have to get it out to you and I can't make a video, I'm going to tweet about it and let you guys know about it. So if you're not following me on Twitter, you're really making a mistake right now. You know, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, you know, if I can get, however I can get you the information that I know about, I'm going to tweet it. I'm going to get it out to you, Instagram or Facebook, all right? So just so you guys know that. With the campaign solos, right, you're going to be getting, first of all, you're going to get these cards, right, to start the game, right? And then you're going to get a random gold that can be auctioned or traded because they give you a free card to get you started with the auction house, make you become familiar with what's going on. Just understand the game in general, okay? Now, the, offense, the offensive campaign hero, you get to choose between Ben Roethlisberger, LaShawn McCoy, Zach Ertz, Julian Edelman, and Golden Tate III. I was on the fence for taking LaShawn McCoy, and I'm very happy at this point that I did not, and I chose Ben Roethlisberger, okay? Now, you might say to me, all right, Jemaya, I don't really care. I don't care about Saquon Barkley. I didn't do the rookie premiere set. All right, if that's something that you don't care about, you can do whatever you want to do. But that one cut feature, though, LaShawn McCoy probably has the elusiveness to make it very, very good, but they're going to soup up Saquon Barkley because that's what they do to their star rookies because it's about promotion. So certain cards are going to be more freakish than others. You have to understand it. It's sort of like this. Like if you get the Hall of Fame edition and you have Terrell Owens, he's going to be more ridiculous than other wide receivers because they want that to show. Uh, on the standard edition with Antonio Brown, if you're utilizing an Antonio Brown, he's going to do more freakish things than other cards. It's just the way that it's promoted. So in this case right now, I know, well, at the point when I did this, when I selected this, I didn't know uh, that they were going to be getting that, um, that Saquon Barkley. I just didn't want LaShawn McCoy. I wanted a quarterback that could get the ball down the field. Okay? So that's why I did that. So this is, these are things that you have to understand. As you go step for step through the solos, this is very, very critical. Now, looking at this, Joey Bosa, Deion Jones, Telvin Smith, Marcus Peters, Cam Chancellor. Bro, I almost couldn't decide. It, all these cards are sick, bro. I don't know why EA would give us such great choices, but I think they're trying to make us say, like, yo, all right, if we didn't get one, 
will go to the auction house and start buying stuff. That has to be what their plan is, bro. Because all of these cards literally are straight sick to start the year off. So I don't that this is the first year I can say that EA actually gave us some really, really crazy options with almost everything that they're doing. Like seriously, mud is insane this year. They're gonna make more money than they ever thought of, bro. I'm telling you, because I'm gonna be spending money now. Because I wanna make bro, if you screw me over, I can downgrade your power up, really? Bro, you're going to be on the auction house, no. Like, right away, you screw me over once, no, you're done. You feel me? So that's pretty much what we're talking about with that. So now, you with the Saquon Barkley situation that I'm showing you and stuff like that, is it going to be worth it to do it if you didn't do the rookie premiere and not get it for free? So should you go out and start doing all these things to get the core rookie master? I don't know. This is specifically for guys that, you know, listened and was riding with me and understood that, yeah, maybe this guy knows a little bit of what he's talking about. He's been doing Mutt Master for the last whatever, and he's really good with the sets. Maybe he has an idea of what he's talking about. Those guys that sided with me and understood that, you're going to have a free 88 in another couple days. All right? For everyone else that's watching this now, realistically speaking, the only way you're going to be able to do this for free, you see how you look, you see like how I have all these cards? Let me tell you the other route you're going to be able to go. Because all of these cards, most of these core elites, I got either from the pack that I did. Um, I, I bought a bundle, so I either got it from a bundle or I got it from doing the solos with the packs that you get from solos. Now, let me go over and show you what I'm talking about with the solos. I told you about the campaign mode, which is the solos that I've done already. Some of the things I didn't open, so I'm going to give you an example, right? You're going to get these type of cards with the fantasy, and you're going to pull a lot of rookies out of these things, okay? Um, what should you do with the ones that you pull? Let, like, for instance, right, when you're playing campaign mode, let's go ahead and open this up right here. I'm gonna give you an example of what's going on. So you get to pick one card per round, right? So I'm just gonna pick whoever the high, highest overall is, which is Mike Wallace. Let me. What is his speed though? What's he looking like? What's he looking like? He got an 84 speed. All right, that's not bad. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take him because he's the he's the highest overall. Okay. Those same packs, a lot of the packs that I opened had rookies in them. Okay. So if they have rookies in them, you know what to do. All right. The, these are the things that you have to understand. And then also with these, like a lot of the packs that when you first come in are gonna, at launch, they're going to be very, very low in price, right? And you're going to have to decide how you want to do it. Now, I still haven't decided which receiver I want because with Mike Evans right now, I think he might be the best case scenario because he's the highest overall. So I'm going to go ahead and grab him right now. But before I grab him, I'm going to show you something. You can look at his speed right now and you might say, bro, he's only at 80 speed. Yo, what's up with that? 80 speed is putting in work this year. Okay, let, let me just let you know that right now. Like, really, 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 you know, they, they, it's putting in work. And another key thing is beat press. So if, does he have a better beat press than the other guy? Because he's taller than him at 6'5". But let's see if we can um, look at the beat the press. Okay, so he has an 86 beat the press. So he's ideally much better than the other card that I have. Is he worth a power-up? I don't know. Okay? I don't know if he's going to be worth the power-up, but we got to see... Um, exactly what's going on. But those are all, um, that one right there was, that cost me a dollar. These are all gold packs that I got from just doing solos. So there's many different ways that you could possibly get it for free, but you're going to need a lot of luck. Cause I got like two or three of them from that situation. But while you're here, let me just go ahead and show you something really quickly also. And what I mean about the Mike Evans power up pretty much. If you want to know about, you know, if there's a power up available for your card, you could simply just go to the program and press it and it'll show you the ones that are available. Now, I have the game early, so um, a lot of things are not available right now, but if you once you start doing it and you start seeing the bases of the cards and everything like that, you'll see that the vet, you, you can pretty much sell all these things. You know, most of the, most of the power-ups that you get, you know, you buy, you buy it outright, you know what I'm saying? And then from that point, what you do is you make sure that you follow up, and that's all you really need to do, okay? Because once you get the power up, everything else is pretty simple, okay? So looking at the way that this is right now, once you jump into a game, right, and you can't, you, let's say, let's say for instance, you can't get, um, you know, the free type, uh, the free Saquon Barkley, and you want to know another, you know, another card that's probably going to be around that rate where you can go ahead and say, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and power up another running back. That's a very good option. That's that's a huge option for you. That's something that you should probably look into doing, okay? But again, if you if you were one of those dudes that listened and understood what was going on, right now you're gonna be in very very good shape. 
very, very good shape just going forward. Okay, so that's just giving you an idea of, um, you know, if I wanted to, I could make the most out of Mike Evans right now and bring him up possibly to like, let's go take a look at what he would become. Uh, if I wanted to spend the 50K right now for that power up, which I think that's probably too hefty. I don't think that that price will remain the same once the game is launched, but you never know. Okay, so let's look at newest and then we're going to go, Mike Evans should be there. And then we're going to take a look at his, his power up and see what he would go to as far as, uh, oh, they don't even show it because we don't have the base. Okay, that's my bad. We would have to buy the 68 overall to be able to get him up to probably like an 88, 89 or whatever. But he starts at 80 speed, so I could probably see him getting maybe to an 85. You know what I'm saying? If, if, if that's something that you wanted to do. But he's a key power up right there. That's something that you should definitely look into um, getting into if that's something that you're going to want because his height and the way that that beat the press matters this year, very, very important to get behind the defense. Okay? So I gave you a lot of bit. Um, I gave you a lot. I just wanted to say a lot of bit. A little bit. I gave you a little bit of information about, you know, several things, including power-ups, how to look in your packs, what certain things give you, and in addition, how you're going to get your free Saquon Barkley. But there's so much more information i got to share with you guys. Definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button, sub, share, like, do all those good things, and make sure you have post notifications on, because as soon as information drops, you'll know it here. Until next time, one love.